This is the Transparency Podcast Show. Development, but in the beginning of the journey, those are so important because really all that does for you is allows you to understand more of the space, allow you to understand more of your feelings, your thoughts, and really just kind of grasp that material Mm -hmm. with trying to apply it to yourself to understand yourself and like what you want for your life. But you get so far in that journey because with all of that, you're learning all of these things, but really what those things are doing, yes, you are learning about yourself and you are making progress, but you get to a point where you kind of are like, well, what's next? Like, how do I keep growing? Because all of those things that you've been doing were really just distractions for, from you that you could have been spending time on like an internal transformation because you created an awareness of things. Mm-hmm. But with the awareness and no action, there is no integration into a new way of being. And that's like, so all of those things are important in the beginning to really understand. And then that second phase is like, okay, now it's time to invest into myself with a coach and your whole life will change. Mm -hmm. And I don't say that because I'm a coach. I say it (laughs) because I've had the experience before. It's freaking incredible. Yeah. So um, another thing I, I, we often heard is um, people say, I don't have time for this. I, or or is that, I'll do that like I'll take this action right after let's say after I have completed certain things you know when I done yeah. X I'll do Y you you heard of that all the time too because um I I was like I was like like same same as everyone else I don't have time for this I don't know when will I have time for this and then like I said like what you just said you know change your habit you know you kind of set a time block. Oh, uh, this uh, five to let's say six to seven. I'll do this, and then and then at first it's hard, especially I force myself to wake up like five thirty to go to the gym. That that's really hard at first. So you think um, time blocking, time management is also one of the important core of um, improve improvement, self improvement. Uh, yes, I do. And I, I do believe that structure and planning and all of that stuff is really important in the beginning of your journey to get into the habit and understand what you're doing, kind of test it out, what works for you, what maybe you don't like so much, you know, kind of trial and error, like with that planning, having that strategy in place. But after you do that for so long and it becomes your new habitual way of being and you don't really have to think much about those things, then you get to a point where you don't really need those strategies and you just know yourself so well that you know how to operate throughout the day, if that makes sense. So like in the Mm -hmm. beginning, it was all structured, but then you go from the structure and like really tapping more into your authentic power, which when I say authentic power, just being your spirit. And when you tap more into your spirit of just expressing yourself in the world the way that you want to, then those strategies and habits you once needed to plan for, they just become a part of your daily routine. So sometimes I wake up and I'm like straight to work. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, let's do some habits. But I'm always sure to implement development and spiritual habits on a daily basis. But in the beginning, yes, we got to plan and have the strategy because you got to build the habit. We're not used to it because all those time, all those people that say, "Oh, I don't have time," you actually do have time. You just got to plan it out in the beginning to prove to yourself you have time. 